Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go over step by step the steps that are needed to connect your DJI RC2 to Wi-Fi. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Why connect to Wi-Fi? Well, this is a question many who initially start flying DJI drones wonder, as Wi-Fi isn't critical to flying the Mini 4 Pro. Now, as a Mini 4 Pro owner with a DJI RC2, you'll want to connect to Wi-Fi for two very specific reasons. To initiate firmware updates and to access flight maps within DJI Fly. Now, those who use a DJI RCN2 controller with the cell phone may want to connect to Wi-Fi for the additional purpose of using the quick transfer feature. Regarding firmware updates, DJI adds new features, tweaks, and fixes to the Mini 4 Pro, which improves the user experience. And the only way to benefit from these additions is by updating the firmware. To update the firmware, you'll need to have a solid Wi-Fi signal. Now, while you can surely connect to your phone's hotspot via Wi-Fi while you're out at your flying location, it is suggested to update the firmware from a solid Wi-Fi connection from home or indoors. Now, the second reason, again, was the flight maps. When in the DJI Fly app, on the lower left-hand side of the camera view is your flight map. If you're not connected to Wi-Fi via your cell phone hotspot, nor have you ever flown in that particular area, you will not have a detailed view of the surrounding flight areas. Connecting to your phone via Wi-Fi while on location will download the area map. Alternatively, while connected to Wi-Fi at home, you can navigate to where you plan to fly beforehand, zoom in on the location, and an offline map of the area will be stored in the DJI RC2. Now, the last reason was the quick transfer feature, which can be used if you have a DJI RCN2. Quick transfer is intended for those who use DJI Fly with the smartphone and DJI RCN2 remote controller. The quick transfer feature allows you to wirelessly export content via Wi-Fi from your Mini 4 Pro's SD card to an Android or iOS smartphone or device which runs DJI Fly app. And this is all without having to even power on the remote controller. Now this is ideal for those who would like to quickly edit their photos and videos and immediately share them with family, friends, or on social media. Now here's a quick note. If you're using a DJI RC2, you cannot use the quick transfer feature to export photos and videos to the remote controller. The RC doesn't have editing functions, so transferring content is not currently supported. Editing needs to be done on an Android or iOS smart device running DJI Fly. To connect the DJI RC2 to Wi-Fi, Turn the DJI RC2 on by pressing the power button once, then immediately pressing and holding the power button. The DJI RC2 will turn on and boot up, going to the DJI home screen. Next, swipe down once from the top of the screen, similar to how you would on an Android or iPhone. This will bring down the notification shade. Swipe down a second time, and you'll be brought to the main settings screen. On the settings screen, you'll see a variety of options ranging from Wi-Fi to RC brightness and sound and screen recording to others, just to mention a few. To quickly enable or disable Wi-Fi, tap the Wi-Fi icon. If you need to set Wi-Fi on the DJI RC2 or choose a new connection, press and hold the Wi-Fi icon. You'll now be brought into the Wi-Fi network screen. You can now choose the network you'd like to connect to, and then after choosing a network, you'll be prompted to enter the Wi-Fi password, after which you'll connect. When you connect to Wi-Fi in the future, you'll automatically connect to the available Wi-Fi network that RC2 last successfully connected to. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.